introducing Luminar's founder and CEO, Austin Russell. CES is back, and uh, we're here with a lot more from Luminar ahead. But I uh, have some certainly exciting stuff today um, that I really look forward to being able to show. So uh, we can jump straight into it. First and foremost, we have the North American debut of the SAIC Rising Auto R7 electric vehicle. This is equipped with Luminar and is now on roads in consumers' hands in China. We are also hosting the North American debut of the new flagship Volvo EX90. It's a big thing to be able to see companies continue to double down on us and really betting the future of their companies and roadmap on Luminar. One very exciting piece of news uh, is that we have a multitude of new Luminar powered production consumer vehicle models that will be coming up. At the beginning of the year, we set out key targets. The first one being start of production and series production readiness, which we did successfully do before the end of the year in October and actually did launch on the uh, Psych vehicle. From a financial standpoint, uh, we have also exceeded our goal of 60% year over year growth. Sentinel is our holistic software solution for next generation safety and autonomy. And we have this on the road here at CES. So you can actually see uh, just earlier today, uh, our cars being able to come to a safe stop even for very difficult situation scenarios like a pedestrian child dummy coming across the road. And this is something that we're actually showing off for the first time is being able to come to a safe stop by detecting an object far out in the distance, not just as large as a child, but even as small as a tire out on the road. In addition to that, we have a, a full LiDAR perception stack running. We have highway assist uh, capabilities that are out on the roads here. We wanna talk about what's new for 2023 and beyond. Maps. We have a vision for this, is to be able to create the first accurate, comprehensive, up-to-date map of the world in 3D. The way that these kinds of you know, high definition or 3D maps are traditionally collected is by sending out these data collection vehicles that are driven by people uh, manually uh, across the world um, on a continued basis and just try to continue to get up-to-date maps. But the problem is, is that you don't need hundreds of cars or even thousands of cars. You need millions of cars if you want to be able to create a true comprehensive understanding of the world around us. And that is exactly what we're doing. So we'd expect by the second half of this decade, we will have over a million Luminar equipped vehicles out on the road. Out here in Las Vegas, we have a couple of vehicles that are out there with the Luminar Iris LiDAR that are collecting the data, aggregating it into a map. We have been mapping this since it's 9 a.m. today. This is something that again is representative of what is possible when you have this out in series production. That's the preview of, uh, of what we have today and what's coming ahead. And we're incredibly excited to have the opportunity to continue to reinforce Luminar as a brand that's expanding beyond just the foundational breakthrough LiDAR technology that we have. For the first time after a decade, we're seeing this evolve. Historical logo here. Take the three bars, zoom it out, and realize it was there in 3D the entire time. There's the new Luminar brand. Again, a huge thank you to everyone uh, for attending here at CES. Uh, please get a chance to stop by our booth, stop by the proactive safety area. It's a really exciting time for all of us, and I think it will be for the next 100 years as well. So appreciate it, and we'll see you all soon.